Hello and welcome to Module 4, Engineering and Analysis with Autodesk Vault. My name is Brian Shannon and I'm Product Manager with uh, the Autodesk Vault family of products. This module is an extension of uh, the last module where we're taking a look at the integration that we had, the deep integration with Autodesk Inventor and AutoCAD. And we're going to be taking a look at, well, what other products? So Vault for the extended design team, um, some of the new integrations, and we'll see some videos on how those new integrations uh, interact. And what you'll see through this is uh, Vault is everywhere. Vault has an integration to all of these products, and this is going to reduce the amount of workarounds that we have uh, for those people that, you know, that may have previously been manually checking data inside of the Vault. So this section is really, it's, I've titled it uh, not just for Inventor and AutoCAD anymore because there's more than just the IPT and the IM and DWG. There are other file types that we need. So in addition to Microsoft Office, we have integrations uh, you'll see coming up with, with other applications that need to use Inventor models or other file types. And this allows us to work with uh, those other file types in a first-class way, which means um, open from Vault, check into Vault, check out of Vault, along the way versioning and capturing all of that uh, digital prototyping data right inside of one common location, the Vault. Vault becomes the central source of all of that data. So for the extended design team that might need to consume things, uh, for instance, uh, if you need to pull information into Fusion and work with it, well, we, Fusion has Vault access, so you can go and check it directly back in, capturing all of the work and all of the effort that you put into it. Uh, we also have support for Inventor Simulation or Algor uh, in capturing all of the information, all of the necessary data that engineers need to work with is captured directly within Vault. Likewise, Publisher. So for the technical uh, illustrators that need to take data and um, create their tech pubs, we can have them open up, and save, and, and capture all of this inside of one common location. Same thing with Navisworks, uh, the ability to aggregate and, and perform uh, the, uh, the studies and the clash detection within Navisworks, but then save that information and save all that data into, again, one common location. With Revit, this is a new integration that we have for 2012 that allows us to uh, sync to Central and, and work with um, Revit data and have everything uh, versioned and everything captured directly inside of Vault. And finally, 3ds Max. This is an integration that we've actually had for some time now. And now that it's part of Suites, we have uh, we're going to basically take a look at the integration that we have and how we can leverage that. And again, all of the work that you do in these products, where does it get saved to? Where do you put it? Well, it should go directly inside of the Vault and this allows us to capture everything all together and then again I'm going to tie this back to the idea of projects and everything that goes with it you know there's more than just Inventor and AutoCAD it's all of these other file types so let's take a look at the Navisworks integration so we have the we have a representation in the ribbon toolbar the ability to check in and check out and aggregate vault data within Navisworks and save all of this effort and check all of this back into vault so Vault can contain all of these uh, these mixed data sources, all these other file types that we can bring into Navisworks. And again, the idea here is rather than have a, a manual process of check in and check out, now we can do so right from inside of the application. Inside of Inventor uh, Simulation, we can uh, provide access to the files that engineers need, allow them to save their work and save all of this information directly inside of Vault. And therefore, versioning it and uh, realizing the history that they have with what they've uh, what they've analyzed in their uh, their results. With Inventor Publisher, this allows uh, tech pubs maybe to get uh, maybe a, a jump start or some lead time on creating documentation and illustrations for uh, data that's inside a vault. So this direct vault access uh, reduces having to email files around or put things up on an FTP share somewhere. They can work directly with the data even. Uh, as uh, geometry is updated, they can update it from within Inventor Publisher when they're logged into Vault. New integration uh, benefits to AutoCAD uh, Civil 3D uh, include a more consistent user interface. So if you have customers that have 
uh, more than just uh, manufacturing. If they have civil 3D, there's uh, been some uh, great strides made inside of the 3D civil integration in terms of the folders and uh, the uh, the object types that are inside of the vault. So we have a, uh, a a better, a deeper integration with civil 3D data than we ever did before, namely in being able to have uh, alignments and pipe networks and points represented appropriately uh, inside of uh, the vault as it relates to the prospector inside of civil 3D. Revit integration allows us to centrally manage all of the uh, the Revit files, the family content, to be able to search and actually load up data from directly inside of Revit and again reducing the the workarounds we may have had in the past of manually checking in and checking out those files so it's going to involve or it's, it's going to promote the uh, concurrent use and the ability to uh, work as a team on uh, Revit uh, projects and also uh, this integration like the other integrations on check-in for instance will create a visualization, a DWF file. So uh, we now have integration with Revit and like the Civil 3D mentioned earlier uh, this is nice because we have the ability to have the uh, have that file type be part of the project, be part of the vault because uh, there might be just more than uh, inventor data in there. So 3DS Max integration is something that we're going to manage through uh, the asset tracking. This allows us to take the Max design and all of the other assets and check in everything. And, and inside of Vault, we're going to have a uses, where used relationship. And we can check in and check out, open from Vault. And this, again, is going to provide us with that, that nice first class integration with all of the data being in one central location. So when we, when we finish off the project, we finish off the job, or you need to load something up, it's all in one centralized location. So coming up inside of this module, we're going to be taking a look at some demonstrations of each one of these integrations.